Here is part two of Pro Cotton players dropping an ace in S and D. Of the wolves are trying to even things out, spread them out really nicely. And now for PJ, spots one gets that first kill for their team. Neon's going to be in a really peculiar spot. He does get taken down by PJ as well. Bravo execute yet again is going to be for the favor of the BPM Lokings. Yep, and PJ actually gave up that side there. That might be a forger, but PJ does get four. Gonna get the fifth one. He gets the ace. Nice play coming through from PJ. Falter against the hands of Fran, Locus, and Hen. Nasty connection through the wall. Now, we are gonna be getting the bomb planted. It's gonna be Yogurt getting this one through once more. Another 4v5 retake. Oh we are seeing oh here with my. STM man with a right tech bursting his shots. We'll be Oof. able to get the triple as well. Guy changing things up now for King Zone. They might just be able to steal this round once more out away from Kagendra. X team man still on a spree. Give him the ace. He is not afraid of the people in there. He took the big team to Ada to give you. He came back to the team. He found that people are not there. But he has the third one. Three times. He has the fourth one. He knows where the fourth one is. He has the fourth one. 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 5, Chloe, that will try to stop the push every single time, but he will be greeted by two players. And speaking of, there you go. And unfortunately, he gets caught very, very single handedly with the boxing gloves. Not going to be good for him. Zai going to be there open. And it oh. just seems like with PJ, there's just no response whatsoever. And the guy's on a rampage with a 3K so far advantage. And now Zai is going to be in a really good spot. Oh my god. <laughs> Rounds. Maybe the good luck charm just lasts for two rounds, but beautiful spray drops, but Nian finds no no and wolf just like that. A right Not back looking in. in the same spot that he's gonna be at. Uh, has the advantage, says hello, bye bye. Flank around ticketing, but that puts him at a disadvantage. 52 seconds to play with. It's a lot of time. Aggressive Boss play. Gonna be right there. Gonna be really quiet inside that train. And King needs to find a way to clear out that angle first, knowing very well it's gonna be a hot spot. He doesn't check the left side, Whee! unfortunately for him. And now it's all up to Ma to try and guess where he is. And he perfects this 1v3. Huge rounds. There and he just read that play. All out in the open. Match point for Huntsman. Wadu opens things up with a double for himself. Make that a triple. Ooh. This guy. Wadu out of nowhere wants to sneak away the MVP title. Can he strike once again? Head glitch played and he still oh. manages to find time out of nowhere. And like he, I was watching Wadu, Wadu play in there. Getting a triple. Slow things down here for Kagendra. Kev's getting the precious information but doesn't get the kill. Candy gets a trade with a nade, looking to get some more, but Zen shuts him down. And now Kagendra gets his qu quick opener here on this B side. Zen finds a double. Might just be able to get the triple as well. Don't overdrive. Take this one slowly. It's still a 3v2. Can Smart Omega pull this off? Oh, both of them all tagged up. Can't get aggressive. Have to retreat. More time bought here and Risky runs in to his death. It's all up to 10 in the 1v2. Goes out, shows up, spots the first player. Doesn't engage with Clove just yet. His position given away and a very aggressive play. And <laughs> Zen, what a fashion shot there.